Devin, and I'm in Hawaii. Today, we want to learn about sea salt. Where does it come from? Well, welcome to the Kona Salt Farm. Are you ready to take a little tour and learn everything that you can learn about making salt? Yes. yes. Perfect. At 300 yards out, you are now at 2,200 feet of deep sea water. So wow. very, very deep water. So because of that, we are able to tap into that deep sea water. This salt farm pulls the salt out of the ocean and turns it into something we can eat. We get our minerals because where our water comes from, comes from a place that has lots of rich minerals. So we are on a conveyor belt or a current system. So have you ever watched Finding Nemo? Yeah. Yes, so when he had said, I need to find my dad. So he got on one of those currents with the turtles and he got very far away very quickly. And that's because he was on one of these major current systems, one like we're on. The one that we're on, that current system passes through Greenland where all this rich ice is at. When that ice melts, all that minerals sink to the bottom. It gets onto that current system and comes right past that ocean shelf, the very same one that we're on. Now we have deep sea, mineral rich water. Okay? But unlike Nemo, it doesn't take a day or two. It takes about 900 years to get here. I know, that's a long time, a very, very long time. So what we have is very old, very clean water. That glacier water has been around for 900 years, just making its way to Hawaii. Can you see that little current line, that little, it looks like a little clear um, line going across yeah. the ocean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the first ocean shelf, so you're right there, it's really, really close. The lava pushes out to meet the sea and it makes a shelf in the deep water. So deep sea water runs anywhere from 36 to 41 degrees. So this means the water off the coast is very deep. So in one of those tubes right there, initially we put in 500 gallons of deep sea water. About one month later, when all that salt evaporates and there's just sodium and crystals in there, we put in 500 gallons more of sea, deep sea water. I know, it's a lot of water in there. About mm, two to four weeks thereafter, so a total of six to eight weeks, it is now time for harvesting. So in each one of those tunnels, um, it produces about 300 pounds of it's a lot of salt, very heavy salt. Wow. Yes, I know. And about seven to 10 gallons of excess mineral, okay? So in deep sea water, because of the minerals, calcium, potassium, and sodium evaporate at the same rate. So what's left at the bottom is a lot of magnesium. So magnesium is very, very good for us. Each tube holds 500 gallons of water and the water evaporates and leaves behind the salt. So this tunnel right here has some water in there. So this is about one week. The water's been sitting in there for about a week. 1,000 gallons of water leaves 300 pounds of salt. It's actually the same process that happens in the hothouse happens in here. But we can't crawl in there to see what that looks like. But at least we can go into the hothouse. We probably could. Uh, she could. She could. We went into the hothouse to see the different kinds of sea crystals. So in this hothouse, it gets very, very hot in there. So it gets on an average temperature 155 degrees, wow. very hot. Wow. So what that will do for us is that we will not need to be using any of that tubing or the electricity to keep those tubes open. The hot house will be enough. So you know what's really interesting is that when that hot house gets to 155 degrees, when you touch the house, it's very warm to touch. It's not hot at all. Oh. I know, but on the inside, it's very hot. Very, very hot. So let's take a look. This is what 300 pounds of salt looks like, and it's ready to eat. If you take a look alongside of the rim, during that evaporation process, you start to have some of the salt that starts to crystallize right here at the end, and you have some right there. So go ahead and pick a little pinch, just like this, just a small bit like that. So it's very, very fine, not like this one right here. You see the difference? Oh, yeah. So if you put that, put that, taste that one. 
it might taste very salty, but what's happening is that because it's so fine, when it hits your tongue, it just spreads across your tongue and it only tastes saltier. They pull it up from big pipes and it comes out in this fountain. Oh, it's wow. coming from oh. 2200. You can put a drink in there and it'll make your drink really cold and keep it cold. The water is unfiltered seawater, which means it's cold and fresh. Straight from the ocean floor, unfiltered, very clean, very old water. Very, very old water. So even when we filter out our water, sometimes that's not good for us because during that filtering process, it takes away all that important minerals that help keep us hydrated. So minerals like magnesium, potassium, calcium, and sodium. So all of the same electrolytes and minerals that's in here. So this is about 300 pounds of salt. So one of those tunnels fit into one of these hoppers. So table salt compared to deep sea salt has higher sodium, which means that it tastes a little saltier. The reason for that is because deep sea salt has all those other minerals in there which decreases the sodium content by 30%, and that's because the other 30 is made up of those minerals that we've been talking about. Finally, it's time to try some sea salt on a delicious Hawaiian meal. Chef Jeff showed me how to season the steak with salt, pepper, and oil. You guys are ready to try some of our salt and cook some food? Yeah. Okay, you guys gonna help me? Yeah. Okay, great. And we'll put a little olive oil on it. Just kind of rub it in there like that so some of the salt gets in there a little more. All right. Do you guys like salad? I love yeah. salad. Okay, so let's throw them in there. Can you guess what we put in our salad? We use ferns because Hawaii has lots of rainforests and they're filled with ferns. That's actually the Perfect, yeah, that looks we great. We use seaweed, of course, because we're by the sea. Grab some sesame oil. And then we'll, we'll mix this around. We tried the salad and we are surprised. We like the seaweed and ferns. Eventually, our steak was ready. So we needed to add some finishing salt. We tried the salt with some pineapple to balance the sweet and salty well, we flavors. Put some salt on it. Steak plus salt plus salad, perfect. Now that I know how to use salt in cooking, it's your turn. What kind of dishes can you make? A big mahalo, or thank you, to Kona Salt Farm.